45. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. Back-to-back -back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs, and here a loss of yardage. From the 50, it's Watson. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that will be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term, complimentary football, because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second down and eight. Rivers to throw this time. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. 12 yards there and a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Give him 30 yards there. Good. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. <laughs> This is the receiver turn running back, Cordero Patterson. And a good burst there right from the start as he'll get this one out near the 35. And the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. To throw, Rivers. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. 
And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and 10. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. The line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the Texans' 23-yard line. Now on second down, this is Gurley. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Eighth play of the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Throwing, Rivers, blanketed coverage by Houston, makes it fourth down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. 38 yard. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like, whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Forced out to his left. Now he'll pull it down. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Bears three, Texans nothing. And just a yard to go here on second down. They'll try the air now with Watson. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 44-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A really nice gain of 25 yards. First down, Houston. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red 
end zone now. Watson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Watson off play action and able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Houston. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. It'll be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And Johnson on an island by himself with the backfield, second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll run it with Kamara, and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Houston. Alvin Kamara with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Texans have taken the lead. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. And they will watch this one land in the end zone. That'll be a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you gotta like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Rivers, this is caught by Robinson. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 15 yards on the play, first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. 
got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing Rivers. Now they go screen, it's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the pass here all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. now. Rivers going to let one fly for Robinson. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. No gain. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. A gain of six. Makes it third and four. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Now Rivers. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Todd Gurley standing by his lonesome in the backfield here. Second and goal. And he is out of bounds here. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. It's now two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the... And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Todd Gurley, his 14th touchdown now of the year. And the Bears have retaken the lead. Well, they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. The kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. Here we go! Here we go! 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Brings up second and seven. Balled it to 26, second and seven. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, here's Watson. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Caught by number 11. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. And in At the 46. Out of the gun, Watson. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down and protect yourself and not take hits like that. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And that's complete to Cooks. Watch now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Watson on first down. This is caught. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. touchdown. Isaiah Coulter, his second touchdown on the season. And the Texans have once again taken the lead. And that makes it 14-10. Makes the score Texans 14, Bears 10. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now this time he'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. 
And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. Play fake, Rivers, sliding out of the pocket, and that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. On the keeper, thrown away and incomplete. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down, shy of the 20. At their own 19-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Behind the chain, second and 13. The final shot before the break, Watson. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. On the return, it's Ted Ginn, Jr. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Tackled at the 25-yard line. A gain of one. Brings up third down and nine. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Off the play fake here, Rivers. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. 
And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll try to throw here. Rivers. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That one, a first down pickup of eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. For a Chicago Bears. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory right at the 40. Here's Rivers. And that'll be incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. At the 40-yard line. Second and 10. To throw again. Rivers. Pass incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. They'll throw again. Rivers. That's going to be caught by Richardson. Touchdown, Chicago! Paul Richardson, his third touchdown now on the year as his guys are able to regain the lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. And that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this will not be fielded. It's a touchback and comes out to the 25. yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. But sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 38, Watson looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Trevor Williams with a pick, and he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race, and he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone.
zone, and he got there in a hurry. And his kick is good. Makes the score Bears 26. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Fresh off the pick six, it's Watson. Pressure and he's taken down. A bear sack. The former first-rounder, Barkevius Mingo. And it'll make this a second and long. It's second down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And that'll be incomplete. Well, took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. Third and long, it's Watson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. Good job defensively there on Gurley as they hold him to only a yard. It's second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On second and nine, Rivers, and they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Chains now, second and two. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he will fight his way in. Not giving up there, and he's got a Bears touchdown. Todd Gurley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. The extra point splits the uprights, and that will make this a 19-point game. 
And they will watch this one land in the end zone. That'll be a touchback. They're on 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. We're glad you're with us from Soldier Field in Chicago. Third quarter here, second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Alvin Kamara. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Now a first down throw, Watson. That's to his running back, it's Alvin Kamara. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now Watson, flush to his right. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Touchdown. As you know, I love the players of the past, but the players of the present and their mobility to move around and play quarterback, we just saw the end result of a guy that can shake it and find a guy open downfield. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. Kaimi Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense if they can score here they have a chance to make this a three possession game and all but put things to bed and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten this defense starting to buckle down when they need to and right now they're winning this fourth quarter losing the game but they're winning in the fourth quarter and what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down so they obviously need the football need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. A two-yard pickup makes it third and eight. The Bears on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and eight. Rivers. 
And the throw there going to be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. He'll buy some time right. He's going to take off with it. He's got the first down and more past midfield. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. And the Texans first down. Off of play action, it's Watson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson escaping the pressure right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Here's second and ten. Now it's Watson, the bootleg. They'll roll him out right. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Third down, and they're going to try the jet sweep. And out of bounds right around the 20. A good gain there on third and eight of seven yards, and now a decision here on fourth and one. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They will indeed snap it to Watson. Finding fouls complete. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Watson off play action. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Watson on third down. Rolling to his right. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Kahale wearing his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Texans have cut it to within a score. 
I thought that was a nice job there, feeling the pressure and rolling out away from it and keeping the play alive. And I think he did it with the idea that his tight end would find his way free in the end zone, and his confidence was rewarded. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Kaimi Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And this will not be fielded. It's a touchback and comes out to the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on Todd Gurley. Wave goodbye. The 40. Pass the 20. 10. Touchdown, Chicago! Tom Gurley, his third touchdown of the game, number 16 on the season. And the Bears will add on to their lead. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays, give us a break, back out there. Hey man, get that water break and get on out there and play. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. On first down, Watson buying time to his left. He'll run it. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Out of the gun, Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Throwing again. Watson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. A gain of Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. On first and 10, Watson. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And it's knocked away and incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. He's going to take another shot here. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. The Texans on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and ten. Again, it's Watson. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. Eight yards on the screen there. Not enough. And it'll be fourth down. But it brings up fourth down. On 
fourth down, Watson. Flushed out right. And that is caught. He's got his running back downfield. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now a first down carry. It's Camara. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. On the carry. Tackle made there by Traven Howard. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Second and five now. Watson, and he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Jay Sternberger, his first touchdown on the year. And the Texans draw a bit closer. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah, yeah, you know. It doesn't feel right. Exactly. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The escape ability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. He's back to throw. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Watson sliding out of the pocket. This one brought in by the 6'5 tight end Waring. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain. And now second down. Faking the give, now Watson. It's wearing the tight end with it. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. At the seven-yard line. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Play fake. Watson. He'll buy some time right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Trevor Williams with a pick. He's got the lane, and there he goes. He's at the 30. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Well, you don't want to coach him, Charles, to stay in the pocket on every play, but I guess that's the danger of getting outside of the pocket, extending a play, and making a bad throw. It turns into six points the other way. Yeah, sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your, your vision actually gets obscured a little bit, or you narrow it down too much, and you don't see all the defenders in the area. Extra point right down the middle. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taken in at the three. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Texans take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? that or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better 
and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end up as you end a ball game it's been a frustrating one for you and we'll see if they go back to base a big offensive explosion help leading them to victory and the defensive guys they're just saying hey put those points up every week we'll just keep winning they will gratefully accept them won't they it makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow so for Chicago, they move back over 500 at 7 and 6. There they will hit the road next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile for Houston, any slim hopes